DevTools, I'm sure you have used it more than once to show your friends that you have millions of euros. Just don't reload the page. But did you know that there's an easier way to edit a page? And that's by enabling the design mode. You don't have to search for the elements that you wish to edit. You can now make your edits directly on the page. But that's just one of the tricks that you will learn today. Because in today's video, I will give you 10 tricks that you didn't know about DevTool. Let's start something with a bang, something important. Shortcuts. When you're in a page, for example, the Google Docs app, you can't open the DevTools. Even if you try multiple times to hit right click, it's not going to work. You can open the DevTools by opening this three dot menu, and then you can look for DevTools. Where is it exactly? DevTools, DevTools. Well, I can't find it. So on your keyboard, press Control Shift I, and that should open the DevTools. <laughs> Now this next part might get you in trouble, so please do this at your own risk. Let's pretend that I have millions of dollars on my bank account by modifying the HTML element. But the problem with that is as soon as I reload the page, my edit will disappear. But what if I tell you that you can actually enforce your changes? Keep it like that, even if you reload the page. Watch this. And no, I did not change anything in the database. I used local overrides. Let me show you how. Go to the network tab and look for the API that holds the data that you wanna change. Right click on that API request or request and select override content. And now search for the content or the value that you want to change and then save it by pressing Control S. And now if we reload the page, This next trick, especially to those of you who don't like to use a mouse on your code editor. You can use Control P to open the source panel or the file panel, and here you can search for the files of the web page. If you want to look for the CSS file or the JavaScript file from the page, you can easily search them here instead of going through the network tab. And also you can type a question mark to know more about this panel and to know what else you can open or run. You can also use Control Shift P to open the command palette. And you'll see a list of commands that you can execute and this is another good way of navigating the DevTools. To learn more about shortcuts, I highly recommend checking out the official documentation of DevTools. They have so many shortcuts there that you can utilize. Now, as a developer myself, I can't count how many times I've tried to inspect elements that are only visible when I press a button, like this drop-down menu, for example. As soon as I click on a different window, the drop-down window just goes away, preventing me from inspecting the element. This is happening because the has focus on some web pages are set to false. Now, there's a better solution to this problem, but back then, what I usually do is use the debugger and the set timeout function, and I give it a few seconds and then run it. And then I open the drop down menu and then wait for the debugger to start. But it's just, Ugh, brother, Ugh, what's that? There is a better way to do it, and that is by enabling the emulate a focused page under the styles. And now, whenever I open a drop down menu, it's not going to disappear even if I click on a different window. And if we check the has focus, it's going to be true. Another trick that I really like sharing is this while you're watching this video, Scroll down and you will see a subscribe button. And if you press that, there's gonna be an API request. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. You can subscribe to Better Stack if you're finding this video helpful. <laughs> now let me ask you a question. How do you take a screenshot of a page? Do you just press the screenshot button from your keyboard or do you use a third party Chrome extension? If it's the latter, then maybe it's time to uninstall that extension because now you can just take a screenshot of the entire page using the dev tools. Simply right click on the body tag and select capture node screenshot and that should download an image of the entire page. Also, if you want to only take a screenshot of a specific section of your website, you can just find that HTML element and select capture node screenshot. And that's just going to capture that specific area. Another way to take screenshots is by using the command palette. You can search for screenshots and you'll find options to take a screenshot. Now it might be a lot of work to some of you, but it's free and you don't have to worry about installing extensions that could potentially have malware. 
This next trick is for front-end developers who work with animations. So let's head back to the DevTools and look for animations. And here, you'll have a timeline for all of the elements that have animations. And here you can make adjustments like where the animation should start, how long is the animation, or how fast it should be. And whenever you adjust the animation, DevTools will apply inline styles to your elements. Of course, since we are in DevTools, you can also make adjustments directly in the style section. Actions. For example, change the easing type or the easing shape of the animation. You can think of this as your animation editor, and once you're done and happy, you can copy the animation and apply it to your CSS. This next one is emulating slow devices. Now you might have a fast internet connection, but there's still plenty of people who don't have 5G or fast internet, and it's good to be considerate. So when you're developing a web app, use the throttling. Go to the network tab and here, instead of no throttling, choose a preset like 3G or slow 4G to test your web apps. Also, click this Wi-Fi icon and make sure that the disable cache is checked. Now you can have a full experience of the Philippines. We call this the Philippines Internet Simulator. <laughs> This next one is something that you definitely don't know, and that is by using images on a console.log. You can use the C formatter in your log and apply a CSS style where you can add a base64 image as a background. And that's it! Of course, there's more that you can do here since it's CSS. You can change the font size, change the color of the text, add paddings or borders, you name it. Anything that you can do in CSS, you can do it here. Last but not least is the AI assistance. You can finally work with AI to chat about the files, CSS styles, or the performance of the web page. This is great for debugging. You can think of it like the chat GPT of your browser. The only difference is that you guys can't be friends. I tried. It doesn't work. And that is a wrap. 10 tricks that you didn't know about DevTools. Now, which one is your favorite? Did I miss something though? Drop it in the comments below because I'm always curious to learn new tricks too. And hey, if you like this video, consider liking this video and subscribing to Better Stack for more quality content. Thank you for watching. My name is Bernard and I will see you in the next one.